And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to recreate the Theatre Principal poster design in Adobe Photoshop. It's a simple design but it looks good and I think it's worth it creating a tutorial about it. So we'll just start with the type tool, press T for that. Now we type in the year. Let me size it up, I press Ctrl T. It's fine. As a font I use Futura Bold. You want to use a bolder font here and sans serif. But in principle it works with every font. Then I press Ctrl A and I position that to the center. And now there are many ways to create this cut effect. I'll just use the marquee tool and then I use a layer mask on my type layer. I inverse that, so I press Ctrl I to do it. I'll just create kind of like a placeholder. It's a unit that defines my distance between the years, so between the type layers. And I use the rectangle tool for that. Just reposition that with the move tool and then press Ctrl T and you can size that up and down. Then go back to your type layer, hold Alt and drag a copy out of it. Hold Shift when you drag it so that it doesn't move out of position in the vertical line. And now let me find a good spot and I need to resize my basic distance unit here. So this red rectangle. I reposition that using the move tool and once again I press Ctrl T and resize it. Now shift click on your rectangle layer and the type layer so that we have both selected and then hold Alt. And when you drag a copy now out of it, you've got them both copied at the same time. When you drag it, hold shift once more. And we need another copy and another one. So I'll repeat the process. Let me create another one, but I guess it's one too much. So I'm going to delete one of these. But let me at first get rid of the layer mask at the bottom. So this is the top layer now, but it is the year at the bottom on this poster. Just right click and delete layer mask. Then I want to change the color. So I click in my properties menu on the color rectangle and I change it to a darker red. Then I use T to change it from 2020 to 2021. We can get rid of all of the rectangles now as we don't need the placeholder anymore. I simply use the delete key here. And I think I get rid of the top number layer. So let me go down to the bottom in my layers panel and I just delete it. All right, just shift click on them. So go to the top, hold shift, and then click on the bottom layer, or vice versa, and then press Ctrl G to group it. And I create my name on two different layers for first and last name. And I want to change the colors. So for my first name, I use the red color. Once again, the properties menu can be used. And then I use the eyedropper tool. My last name should be in black. And then I reposition that with the move tool. Shift click on both layers. And then press Ctrl T and you can resize them at the same time. But if you want to play around with the distance between the two layers don't use the properties menu, that doesn't work. It's two different layers, so you need to use the move tool.
I'll just use the arrow keys here. But I guess it's a little bit too big. So once again, I shift click on both. Press Ctrl T and I size that down. I want the numbers to be much bigger than my name. Let me press Ctrl R to blend in the rulers. And now I can drag a guide from left to right. And I reposition my name. It looks fine. Now press T for the type tool. And then drag a text box. You can easily resize that. Type tool is still selected. I select it all and then I type in some more text. If you want to see how the original looks, I've got it linked in the description below. So it's actually used by this Theatre Principal and I've got it in many versions. Alright, that should be enough. But I don't want it to be at the left, I want it to be aligned to the right. So I go to my Properties menu and I use the right alignment. And when I want to adjust this text, I can use the Properties menu, play around with the distance. But the line distance that should be auto. I'm fine with it. Let me reposition the name. And now I need to readjust the text box on the right. Just press Ctrl T. And that's fine. And this is how you can recreate this Theatre Principal poster graphic design in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.